It's a popular sport for all the right reasons and it caters for a wide range of ages and experience. Whether you're an experienced rower or just starting out, there are a couple of key safety considerations which are easy to ignore, but doing so can have dire consequences. In a regatta situation, umpires and officials pre-check each boat for various safety regulations before they hit the water. The reality is most of the rowing is out there of a morning, uh, often in the dark, uh, and often with rowers out there without rescue support. By their very design, rowing shells are narrow and pointy to give them speed through the water. The issue is the pointy bow is sharp and can cause major damage. If you can imagine an eight travelling across the water with uh, eight oarsmen powering through pretty fairly quickly and another boat coming in the opposite direction, as can be the case if someone's uh, not complying with proper traffic rules and the impact is quite significant. There are examples where it's punched holes through boats quite easily. There are many examples of gruesome photos of rowers who have been struck by another boat. With a bow ball, the impact will still be severe, but without a ball, it can be devastating. What we've got here, I'm going to show you, is a good example of a, uh, of a well-prepared boat. And the bow ball, if you test it, just by moving it, you'll see that there's very, very little movement in that bow ball. And without that, of course, you've got a very sharp point on that boat. And if that in hits without the bow ball, it has uh, potential damage uh, to uh, create serious damage to both the boat and whatever it hits. But that's a very good example of a well-secured and well-prepared boat. In most major regattas, uh, before a boat goes on the water, there's often officials who go through and check the boats uh, to ensure that uh, obviously the rowers and getting their gear ready have, haven't overlooked that. And the bow ball is one that sometimes can be overlooked because they're busy doing their rigging and checking their shoes and all that sort of stuff, getting the, their, their oars ready and forget about the front of the boat, which might have been damaged at some stage, but I can realise it. When a rower rows, your feet are inside a set of shoes and they're often laced in, either with a lace or sometimes Velcro. The problem is that when a boat if a boat turns over, the rower's feet are in those shoes. And often, if the shoes aren't correctly tied, well, then the rower can't get their feet out. And that could possibly lead to disaster. At the end of the day, the rower is under the boat, under the water. The rules state that your heels must be tied down so they won't lift more than seven centimetres. Without this resistance, freeing your feet from an upturned boat is extremely difficult. This is an example of a shoe that's not properly tied. You can see from there, there's no lace whatsoever. So the foot that's in there, when it comes out, the shoe is just going to keep going. And when you're under the water, um, you, there's no way that the foot can come out of that shoe easily. So in, in a situation where you turn over, the water's cold, you're hot, you're exhausted, panic sets in, and the logic of trying to get the system out doesn't work. Now what I've got here is a, uh, a, a good example of a well-prepared boat. As you lift each shoe independently, it'll go no more than that seven centimetres. And you can see they're well tied. And what basically means is when the foot is in there and it raises up, it'll slip out. And that's the important part. The other good point about this one also is that you can see when the foot is in there, this ties the rower's feet in and all that's required is one hand to release it. And that's the other most important requirement, is that a hand, to be able to one hand only, quick release, and then feet can come out and the rower can get out from under the boat uh, as quickly as possible. I think the message is to, is to everyone. It doesn't make any difference. Uh, I've had senior rowers saying, we go out and look, it never happens to us. And I know that uh, when some, often cases, when the boat is checked in the shore, the senior rowers will go out and they'll undo those laces. And the view is, it won't happen to us, we know what we're doing. But that's not the case, because we've had uh, a number of examples, uh, not too many, but a few over the last couple of seasons where we've actually had to have senior rowers rescued from under their boat. Just check your equipment. It doesn't take long to do it. Just check the, the shoes are tied, the height's right, that's fine. 
independently secured. Just a quick look at the bow ball and that's easily done. And um, away you go.